<laughs> yeah, it's going to be a party in the kitchen. That, by the way, this song is what happens in my brain all day long, every day. It's just this soundtrack. This it's is great. Who, this is who I am. <laughs> it's a happy thing. Why That's not? Right. Yeah. Cindy Dole with Eric Stromer. That's and right. uh, this is the Happy Home Wizards where we'd like to put a smile on your face and help you enjoy the place you call home. Improve your home and improve your life. So thanks for sharing part of your Saturday with us. And by the way, uh, we're, while we're here on Saturdays, we're going to be here again tomorrow. I can't wait. I, I love being here. So please, mark I'm actually going to. We're going to sleep, so everyone knows it's we're sleeping here tonight. Yeah. It's going to. We'll have some popcorn and movies and pajamas with feet. Pajamas. Yep. Anyway, it's a party in the kitchen, and and we've been talking about the 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 kitchen project that's been almost three months into it. It's been coming across so quickly, and um, it's just so exciting. It's every day. There's a whole new thing going on, and now it's the fun part. Now it's the bling part because after you have the cabinets in and and the countertops in. And even the appliances in, even yeah, though and, we can't use them yet. Right, and you see, <laughs> and you seeing these moldings being constructed, moldings. and this new cabinet that yeah. is now housing what? Well, so what we're going to talk about now is how to add music to your kitchen. All right, so flashback to K Biz. This is the kitchen and bath show in Las Vegas, where they have all the the hot trends, and we're going to be in in Chicago coming yeah. up in the spring. We love to. We're survey, there every year. We we check everything. See out. what's cool. And one of the cool things that caught our radar was this thing called the Maestro Kitchen, and it's a state of the art uh, stereo device put out by the folks. I'm sure you've heard of Harman Kardon, and they've done. Well, your your brother worked. My brother sold Harman Kardon back in the 70s. High end receivers and amplifiers. Amplifiers, yeah, In man. the 70s, oh, yep. yeah. That's yeah. why, huh, can you hear, what, what? What? Yeah. <laughs> That's why, I get yeah. it now. Yeah. But so, if you can picture a great kitchen that only that not only has all these other beautiful fundamentals, but now you can jam to some tunes. Well, with us is a guy who's going to tell us how it works. His name is Dave Weinstein with Harmon Carden. So, thanks for being here, Dave. Oh, you're welcome. How you doing, Cindy? Doing fabulous. So Thank tell you. us, this uh, this device, this Harman Kardon Maestro Kitchen, it is sleek, and it is so cool, and the best part is, it can be concealed in your kitchen. So paint a picture for everybody on, on how this works. Sure, absolutely. It's, uh, I mean, basically just conceive uh, a hidden audio package, no loudspeakers, no cables that you can see, uh, no dust. Uh, no reduced uh, workspace in the kitchen, uh, and no reduced storage space. So basically uh, what we have is four main components. The speakers are actually called exciters, and what you do is you route them into the back of two cabinet doors, one left and one right, so that's your left and right speaker, close the door, and the sound transmits directly through uh, the remaining wood, so you see nothing on the outside. Well, uh, well, then the other thing too is that that actually makes the sp- uh, the cabinet itself like the box of a traditional speaker, doesn't it? Exactly. Uh, by routing out the space inside the cabinet door and then covering it, we're actually creating a baffle, as you would have inside a normal uh, loudspeaker box. But picture it pancaked. So you know, a typical inch and three quarter deep cabinet door and then, I don't know, 15 or so inches wide or greater, and, and in that space is the actual baffle that you'd normally have. So kind of uh, transforming dimensions uh, into, into different factors is what we've done, so that's kind of very cool. And it plays music in a, mo- in a variety of ways, right? Correct. CD, uh, FM radio, which the, the part that you do see, as you know, uh, is the head unit. So it's finished in black glass, so it looks like a high-end appliance. Uh, with a four-inch color LCD screen on it, which uh, tells you what radio station you might be listening to. You can plug your iPod or your iPhone or other device into it, and it shows you what uh, album you're listening to with artwork and scrolling title. So really, you know, very state-of-the-art, but beautifully finished uh, as any high-end appliance uh, would be. Yeah, and what's so great about it is that in Cindy's kitchen, it it doesn't even take up additional space. It's kind of put between two cabinets so that it, again, like mm-hmm. you say, looks like an appliance. But what you can also, as you were explaining to us earlier, Dave, you could put this beneath the stove if you wanted, or above a stove. I mean, it can go anywhere. Correct. Correct. Above a, uh, below a stove, Isn't that below amazing? a stove, uh, somewhere else, uh, in between an upper and a lower cabinet, uh, above a dishwasher even, uh, really a variety of places. Um, and how do these so, speakers that are so small, I mean, you call them these, these exciters, I mean, they're the size of a golf ball or smaller, and they put out such incredible audio. How does that happen? So it's what we call an exciter, as you mentioned, and essentially uh, converts electrical energy uh, into force, uh, and then in turn, that produces what we call bending waves, 
uh, in the wood panel itself, sort of how with a normal speaker cone, uh, the cone itself uh, is producing bending waves, and then that physically you know, transfers to the air in the room and then eventually to your eardrum. So it's kind of a take on a speaker, but utilizing a thinned-out wood material uh, to do so, and that's basically how it works. And then uh, you also get your bottom by having a subwoofer installed, in, again, in another mm-hmm. place that's completely inconspicuous mm-hmm. and doesn't take up additional cabinet Like for space. us, we're putting it in the, the foot area. What do you call it? The, the toe kick. The, the toe kick. Yep. And, we, and Karen, our cabinet queen, who just was on moments ago, she adjusted the toe kick in a way so that it just has a few nails in there, and we can lift it if we ever had to get to the subwoofer, you know, for, for some what reason. But right. we want to have it. So there's air circulating, right, Dave? Uh, correct, correct. Yeah. And probably, you know, what's really key, too, is that it, too, has been custom-designed from the beginning for a kitchen, uh, kind of a pancaked version of a, of a subwoofer as well, right? Mm-hmm. So only about four inches thick, uh, maybe about 13 inches wide and 15 inches deep. So again, very slim form factor, so it can fit underneath uh, a typical cabinet and be covered by a typical toe kick. So mm. again, you know, custom from the beginning for a kitchen. And what's neat, too, is that am I one of the first Americans to have this? You are. You are. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, Stop the it. The official launch isn't until the end of December uh, for the U.S. version. Yep. All right. So it, it, how do people what, find Wait, wait, wait. You're, yeah. la- you're maniacally laughing no, and no, pointing no, no, at me. No, 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 no. Uh, Dave, we need to hook up Eric, I think. Otherwise, I I'm, know, I'm dead. I know. I'm jealous. Um, so this is currently in Europe, and, and it has it been very popular in Europe for years? Uh, actually, so it released about uh, three months ago uh-huh. uh, in Europe and uh, doing very well. Uh, thousands actually sold already uh, in Europe. Now, so, well, ha- yeah, yeah. And then it's coming up in December, end of, end of December in the States, right? Correct. Correct. Hey, hey, Dave, also for those of us who already have our cabinets installed in terms of retrofitting, yeah. pretty easy to do? I, w- I would say so. You know, if you're working with any good uh, kitchen installer, uh, you know, taking two doors uh, and replacing them uh, with the integrated exciter element uh, is is not a difficult job if they're good at their craft. Uh, and then I would say uh, the head unit, the part that you see, can probably be lower mounted uh, to a wall hanging cabinet uh, with some simple trim. Uh, installed around it. Again, for any good uh, cabinet person, uh, Mm -hmm. not a difficult job. And the way we have this laid out is that we have strategically placed the speakers in the kitchen so the audio is coming from a couple different corners. So it's going to really make it sound like So you have enough separation to to create true stereo imaging, right? But in spite of that, Dave, we still do not need additional speakers, right? I mean, we're going to be rocking with plenty of sound. Yeah, I mean, so this is really, you know, meant to be, again, you know, from the ground up, from the beginning, conceived as a kitchen audio system. So while it's not a full replacement, obviously, you know, Harman Kardon, we develop, uh, you know, mega sound systems that can, you know, blow the hat off of your head. Uh, this, <laughs> is a, this is a 90-watt system, uh, which if you were to use a typical iPod dock uh, in the kitchen, you'd probably be looking at 14 watts of total output power. So this is something that has much better sound quality than anything you've typically ever found in a kitchen. Um, and that's really, yeah, so you'll be rocking to it without a doubt. All right. But still be able to talk, you know, to your Good. husband, wife, friend, neighbor, anyone. Well, we may not want to talk, but, you know, right. we, we may. <laughs> Just kidding. So, Dave, I know you've tested these, and I, I have visions of you having a perfect playlist in terms of testing the Maestro Kitchen when it's for, first fully installed. Give me a couple of songs or artists or tunes or something that you think would really show the, the depth and the range of this device. Uh, okay, well, uh, maybe <laughs> artists. Uh, Dave Matthews Band. I uh, listened to a couple of great songs uh, from those guys on the system. Uh, let's see, who else? Coldplay also sounds great. Uh, the Beatles, uh, obviously remastered. Uh, those <laughs> would probably be uh, a couple of good uh, good tracks. Okay. What about Hanson? Maybe uh, not. I haven't personally listened to that, but, uh, <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and you guys are always looking for new super-duper technology in terms of audio, right? Um, are there other things you guys are working toward? So, you know, Harman Kardon, uh, as you know, has been around for 60 years. Uh, we are really the innovators uh, of hi-fi, the first uh, stereo receiver uh, ever introduced where we, you know, combine an amplifier uh, and a tuner and a preamp in one box, 
which, uh, you know, people that say uh, under the age of 50, that's probably all they've ever known, was actually introduced by Harman Kardon. And prior to that, you had two or three separate boxes, uh, you know, just to make uh, part of your stereo system. So, yes, w- you know, we're constantly uh, innovating. In fact, uh, you know, luxury automobiles, Harman provides uh, 80% uh, of luxury automobile uh, audio systems, and in fact, uh, navigation and infotainment. So, you know, we're a world leader for sure uh, for anything having to do with audio and entertainment technology. Well, I'm excited, Dave, and I am going to try a little bit of Dave Matthews and Coldplay and, and the Beatles for sure. I will deny myself, Hanson. But how do people find you? What's your what's your website so people can, because, hey, it's not in the U.S. yet, except for our house. Where Where do we find you? Sure. Uh, so uh, www.harmancarden.com, which is H-A-R-M-A-N, not O-N, M-A-N, uh, Carden, K-A-R-D-O-N, uh, dot com forward slash maestro kitchen. And Dave, don't worry about me. I'll stand in my ghetto kitchen and whistle and listen to myself. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I'm sure I can help you out. Okay, Dave, fun having you. Dave Weinstein with Harmon Carden, the Maestro Kitchen. And we're going to show you the pictures because the next video is going to be coming very soon. And- TheCityKitchenProject.com. That was fun, huh? Yes, love that? I love that. All right, up next, we've got some ideas for your Thanksgiving in terms of cleanup. I mean, cleanup is a team effort. It is, and, and we thought this was a great segment because no one likes to do it, but we've got some great got tips on how to it. do it. Hours yep. of cleanup. We're going to make it easy and fun, we promise. Eric Stromer, Cindy Dole, Home Wizards. We're back after this. School for cool.